This is the big one, everybody. This is the one hour special season finale of Fight Pro Wrestling from Hub City Showdown. When we started the season, we had a tournament to crown the number, the very first ever fight champion. Tanner Reynolds was a part of that tournament. He won that championship, and he has been champion ever since. Michael Zamedio was a part of that tournament. Tonight, he gets his opportunity for the first time at the fight championship. At the very first show, we had Riot City Most Wanted defending their title of top dogs of tag teams here in Fight Pro Wrestling against the Left Coast Gorillas. Tonight, they go up against these gentlemen, the Ugly Ducklings. I rag on you a lot, Valentine, so I'm only gonna say this once, but I am your hero, Jason Heat. This is my broadcast partner, Mike Valentine, and it's an honor to call the action with you tonight on the biggest night in Fight Pro Wrestling history. Ugly Ducklings are in the ring. Standout tag team from across the country making their way for the first time to fight pro wrestling with Coach Mikey, Lance Lude, and Rob Kiljoy. And their opponents being accompanied to the ring by Vic Ramone, weighing in a total combined weight of 385 pounds, Sicken and Max Mayhem, Riot City, Most Wanted! and a stable here for Fight Pro Wrestling. One of the biggest reasons why we are even here today, sickened Mac Mayhem, Vic Ramone, accompany him to ringside, Riot City's most wanted. And you better believe they have their hands full right now with the Ugly Ducklings. These two teams are in for a fight, we're all in for a treat. These are two of the best tag teams in professional wrestling. I say that with no hyperbole. I am so excited for this match. We have been, I have been craving more tag team wrestling here in Fight. I have personally been trying to fight to see more tag team wrestling here in Fight. And this is an opportunity for us to see the burgeoning tag division as the Riot City's most wanted goes up against the Ugly Ducklings and I. I don't know if there's a match I've been looking forward to more, to be perfectly honest. Now you've been following and you know a lot about the Ugly Ducklings here. Why don't you let the audience know what to expect? Two of the flashiest and yet hard-hitting high flyers you are likely to see in this ring. That man shaking over there, that's Rob Kiljoy, the man to his right, a little smaller, a little wirier, a little bit of a thicker beard is Lance Lude. They are seconded by Coach Mikey. He helps calls the play and sells the merch. And they are the ugly ducklings. They are fun, they are phenomenal, and they are high flying to the extreme. And these two men need no introduction to the fight faithful, but I'm gonna give it to them anyways because I am a big fan of Riot City's Most Wanted. Sickened, one of our most talented cruisers here in fight, Mac Mayhem, the bruiser of Riot City, Maryland. Out on the outside, Vic Ramone, the knockout king. Now for those of you that don't know, in my other life, aside from being your hero, Jason Keith, I am actually the artistic director of Flying V Theater. We are named after the Mighty Duck, so I gotta say, it does my heart good to hear a nice little quack, quack, quack chant from the Ducks, my spirit animal in professional wrestling. And the bell has rung Lance Lude, Mac Mayhem, starting this one off. And already you can see the speed at which Lance Lude has. You get a chance to see a little bit of what both these teams are. Oh! Out of nowhere! What these teams are going to bring to the table, the second the bell rung, you saw Mac Bam going for a hard hit. You saw Lance Lude going for some flight. And now you see the two of them match each other, blow for blow, power and speed meeting in the center of the ring. And I got to give the power advantage to Mac Mayhem. He has already got Lance kind of a little wobbly in the center of the ring. Rob Kiljoy calling for the tag. We're about to see the second half of the Ugly Ducklings enter the ring. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
kind of interesting dynamic, I would say, of the two. Rob's a little bit more of the power guy of the Ducklings, and Max a little bit more the power guy of Riot City. So we're seeing both the speed guy take on the power guy in both sides of these teams. Who well, I would say, compared to Riot City, all of the Ugly Ducklings are speed, and Riot City represents some phenomenal power moves. Rob Kiljoy with that shop. Innovative arm drag there. Oh! We have seen Riot City as a stable many times here in fight. They've backed each other up. They've gone to war. They have been preoccupied by Ricky Reyes. But this is actually one of the first times that we have had the opportunity to see them as a tag team. And they are so dominant in that arena. This is just a, a, a collision of two masters of their craft, as we just see four hits in the span of a sentence that Sicken and Mayhem managed to hit in the corner. The Ugly Ducklings have been making waves all across the country, especially up and down the East Coast. I would say they're one of the hottest, uh, most dynamic and, and some of the hardest hitting and winningest tag teams that are making their way in the circuit. Wins and losses matter incredibly here in fight. And an opportunity for the Ducks to persevere could earn them a larger roster spot when we return for season two sometime in 2018. This is the season finale of Fight Pro Wrestling. We've gone on quite a journey. Who's impressed you this year so far, Mike? Who's the person that you consider the MVP of this year's season? That's a really, really tough question to give to me because we had so many people who stepped up into their own this entire season. But if I had to pick one person, I would definitely say that would have to go to Michael Zamedio. You think so? Michael Zamedio comes in, championship tournament, not able to get it done, able to come back prove to himself, prove to everybody here, able to become number one contender and now has his opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one later tonight in our main event against Tanner Reynolds to try to win that fight heavyweight championship. Rob Kiljoy going on a tear here, managed to jump Sicken over the ropes, hit a hell of a kick right onto uh, McMahon in a double dive in stereo. Ugly Ducklings are playing a song I like to hear, baby. back into the ring. These birds don't need to fly straight when they're landing on you with this kind of momentum. They're known for their double team maneuvers, and here we go. Wheel oh. bow into a backflip, into a moonsault, into the fall. Duck, duck, boom. Able to kick out at three after all of that. The tag team tandem moves in this are just impressive. Both teams working so well. So impressed with both of these teams. Killjoy on the top, and there we go. Trying to break Sicken's arm. We know he's had a bum leg for a little bit, but he looks to be in the best shape we have seen Sicken so far in the entire season of fight. I'm so glad to see him rested, recovered, and ready to go. Though I would think he was hoping that it would be in a, a situation a little less likely to kick him right in the head. Rob Killjoy slowing down the pace here, keeping sickened in the center of the ring. Got to admire that red mohawk. I, I wonder if he knew he was facing the Ugly Ducklings and this was going to be an aviation theme, an aviary themed match. He's doing a little bit of a tribute to some red roosters. We've got ducks and roosters in the ring. And necks a breaking. Goes for the cover, does not hook the leg though. Sick and able to kick at it too. You know, both these teams have got their seconds. We've got Vic Ramone and Coach Mikey out on the apron. Neither one of them have made themselves known so far because these teams do not seem to need any help. 
swanton from the springboard and immediately another quick tag using that momentum. Another swanton springboard and it looks like we're going for a third. Um, throw, a splash through the second rope, rolling him in. Great ring positioning. Lance Lude has been a professional wrestler for a long time. He is a veteran of this form of combat and you can tell that. A lot of people just go for that cover. He makes sure to get that guy in the center of the ring to make sure that there was no rope breaks whatsoever. Now, I think people don't realize just how much of a, a locker room leader Sicken and Mayhem are for fight. These are guys that really do help keep our locker room line. These are leaders in this particular promotion, and they do not want to lose to new guys on their very first night in the company at all. And Sicken trying desperately to get to Mac Mayhem there. Rob Killjoy able to power him back across the ring. It really managed to effectively cut Sicken off from Mac. Mac, very fresh, was barely in this match early on, and when he was, he was doing incredibly well. Just a couple hits and will knock Lance Loopy. They're doing everything in their power. There you go, cover to try and keep Mac Mayhem out of this match as they should, and they're looking great doing it. You gave me your MVP for the season. Who are you going to give for most improved this year? Another tough question there that you're asking, but after seeing everything and taking a look at the entire season, I'd have to go with AC Wolf. I agree with you 100% on that one. That was going to be my call as well. I think from top to bottom, we've got a standout roster that AC Wolf has come the furthest throughout. He is someone that I expect to be a major player in a next year's uh, set slate of competition. And as matches are laid out for 2018's fight return, I think he's going to find himself much higher up the card this year than last. There we go, Sicken managing to make a little bit of a comeback here. We'll see if he's able to get this momentum. Oh! Able to use Lance Lude as a weapon. Hooked him into a cravat, kicked him underneath for the cutter, and now Sicken has an opportunity, if he can, to try and make his way across this ring to bring in the very fresh bruiser brawler, Mac Mayhem. We will see what happens if Mac is able to get in here and knock some heads together. What I love most about both these teams, I imagine they are going to beat the ever-loving tar on each other and then win, lose, or draw. That winning team is going to buy the losers a drink because these are guys that like to fight and like to have fun and Mac Mayhem is in and he is showing that he has got suplexes for days, Mother Ducker. Look at that overhead spin him round. We have said it before, I will say it again, Mac Mayhem ain't nothing to mess with and he is throwing ducks like we are at a carnival fair. Got him up for that Death Valley driver, launching him into the corner. Not to be left out of the fun, sick and going in for that cannonball. Almost a close, close two count. Both of these teams, big fan favorites, you can tell that the Ducks have already endeared themselves to this crowd, and Riot City, probably the biggest home team favorite that we've got in all of fight. This has been nonstop action from start to uh, eventual finish. I imagine we see Rob going, manages to get over. It's a blind tag there by Sicken. Sicken legal man goes for the cover. But not quite yet, says the Ducks. Saw Vic Ramon a moment ago offering some encouragement. And then Ooh. talked about that power advantage that the Ducks uh, do not have, that Riot City does. And oh! Managed to flap Jack Lance Lude right onto Rob Killjoy. Coach Mikey trying to rally. You hear the kids in particular in love with the Ducks. The adults kind of like our beer swilling heroes, I think. Come on. Ryan, Ryan, 
Mac Mayhem and uh, Sicken looked like they were trying to set up for that headlock driver double foot stop combination finish that they have. But Rob Killjoy. Look at that cutter front pulling Sicken over the ropes. Catapult cutter. Shot cut never drop seen kick. that. I've seen things I've never seen before ever in this match, Mike. Tying up Mac Mayhem. Oh, man. Into that top rope. Vic wants to get involved, but he stopped himself. He knows that's not what Mac and Sigan want to do. Monkey flip right into both members of Riot City in the corner. It is possible that Sicken is knocked unconscious at this point. Center of the ring. He just gets out, Mike. And Sicken somehow able to find the strength to kick out at two. You do not come into Riot City's house and unmake their bed. I couldn't think of a better metaphor. That was not great. I totally own that, everybody. I am just so excited by this match. Looks like the Ugly Ducklings are trying to finish it right now. They're going for the Duck Day device. Good Max sees it. Coach Mikey wiped out on the outside. And Rob Killjoy still has some fight left in him. Able to give the giant boot to Sicken. Giant boot to Mac Mayhem. Mayhem right behind him though with that hard chop. And just trading these impressive blows and hard strikes. He's still trying to get a running advantage. Rob catches Mac as he's coming. Gives him just enough time for Sicken to get in the ring and they're going for that move like you were saying. Headlock driver, double stop. He just slammed his head center of the ring, nailed to the ground. And just like that, Riot City able to get one up on the Ugly Ducklings. And able to end their season with a victory. Huge things ahead for Riot City's most wanted. What an impressive debut by the Ugly Ducklings. Let me say this first, foremost, and in front of the rest of the line, I want to see them back here in Fight Mike. I want to send a message to management. I want more Ugly Ducklings, and I want to see more Riot City.